stretching, pitchers jogging along the <laughs> warning track because spring training is back this week in Southwest Florida. I am so excited about this. So pitchers and catchers begin reporting in just a few days, but before that first pitch is even throw, we wanted to find out about how the hurricane actually will have an impact on this year's spring training season. And it is. I mean, no games even in Charlotte uh, County absolutely. for that, for the race. It's Fox 4 morning anchor Chris Shaw reports. It's been a long time since we've had a normal season here, four years, but still plenty of changes also impacting such a signature of Southwest Florida business. Well, the ticket windows are open and the players are here at JetBlue Park. It definitely feels like the first day of spring training, but there will be some changes this year because of the hurricane and because of the fact we haven't had a normal spring training in a few years, and that could affect you even if you never plan on coming here for a game. In a normal year, spring training is a home run in Lee County. So much money is generated, it barely fits on the Green Monster scoreboard at JetBlue Park. But that $69 million you see is from a 2018 study. And since then, COVID wiped out part of spring training in 2020. The next year, a limited number of tickets were made available because of the pandemic. And the player lockout last year cut spring training in half. So I wanted to ask Lee County Commissioner and CEO of the Fort Myers Chamber of Commerce, Brian Hammond, if he expects fans to return. I think the spring training guests will be coming back this year because it's a 100 year tradition here in Lee County to have spring training here. And I think a lot of our visitors are looking forward to coming back. That's certainly the hope, but baseball these days, like business, is a game of numbers. So let's go back to the monster. That 2018 survey found 71% of fans who come in from out of town stay in hotels or a rental home. On average, they spend five nights in Lee County, and this is important. At least 22% of them stay on barrier islands like Fort Myers Beach or Sanibel. And we know that because of Hurricane Ian, almost none of those rentals are open. In fact, countywide, 66% of hotels are back up and running. So the question is, is that enough? I think the two thirds is going to be extremely full, actually. And to find rooms in full hotels, Hammond believes fans will shift where they spend their money. I look at this spring training season as an opportunity, actually, for areas like Cape Coral and downtown Fort Myers and uh, some of those inland communities to see some tourism that maybe they hadn't seen before. So that may mean more traffic in places that don't usually get it. But in dollars and cents, in the average spring training, Lee County hotels make 18 million dollars restaurants 14 million and retail shops 9 million and that's just in two months if you're seeing some slow times in the wake of hurricane Ian this could be that shot in the arm that might help get you through this season well, the Red Sox are planning for big things this year. The general manager of the team's Florida operations tells me season ticket sales are about 95% of what they usually are, and single game tickets are on pace to where they were pre-pandemic, so the team feels like the fans will come down. Where they're going to stay, though, that's the question that remains open. We will follow through with you as the spring training season goes on. Reporting in Fort Myers at JetBlue Ballpark, I'm Chris Shaw, Fox 4 News. And